Hey, brother, this is Steve with Good Guys to Great Men. This is where we turn our fears and our frustrations and our uncertainty with women, love, and sex, and we turn it into action. This is the kind of action that creates confidence and clarity and a sense of masculine strength. In other words, this is where we find our mojo. Thanks for joining me today. This is video number 10. If you don't know this, I've promised to do 100 videos to try to prove to you guys that even if you suck at something and you don't feel comfortable with something, if you take action and try to do something over and over again, you can get better. And if I can get better at videos, I swear you can get better at what you're trying to get better at. And today I want to talk about getting better at taking action. Today's video is all about action. As I'm trying to show you through taking action in my video productions that I could get a little more confident and clear and strong in the way I do these for you, I think you can do this in your life. Um, there's a quotation I wanted to tell you to start, it, start off the video. The quotation is from Brendan Burchard. He wrote the book, uh, The Charge, which I'm not promoting. I'm going to talk a little bit more about some of these books down here and the good and the bad of them all. But in Brendan's book, Brendan's book, he said one thing. He said, there are only two things that can change your life. Either something new comes into it or something new comes out of you. And today's video is about how to think differently about making things come out of you. We all know what new things can come into our life, things that we don't expect. Uh, promotion or demotion, a notice of separation or divorce. We could have pets die on us, which is something I talked about in other videos. Chauncey's right here, by the way. She's still helping. Thank you for wondering. Um, but if we're, not, if we're not taking action, things can come into our lives that just change it without notice. And if we're not already taking action for ourselves and going the direction we want to go, there is no way we're going to be able to respond to all those things that are trying to change our lives for us, like relationships with women. So what happens when we don't take action? When we don't take action and we wait for new things to come into our life, there's this feeling of sadness. There's this feeling of frustration and anger. Uh, we get depressed and we can get hopeless with anything ever getting better in our love life or our marriage, sex life. And so this is why we're talking about taking action. Not taking action makes us feel like we're spinning our wheels. Um, it's like we think we could fix everything on our own and we could ignore help. We could, we could read a bunch of books or watch videos or listen to podcasts. And even this video you're watching right now, I know a lot of you have sent me emails saying, thanks for your videos. I love them and all that stuff. That's great. But, you know, watching this video isn't the end all and be all. I mean, you, I'm going to show you some books. You know, there's the book, uh, The Magic, right? The Magic, I forget, uh, Rhonda Byrne wrote that. She also wrote The Secret, right? Everybody knows about the secret, and then she came up with the power. She kept writing these because she knows people have an insatiable appetite for reading on how they should feel and what they should be thinking about life. You know, Brendan Burchard wrote The Charge, a very motivational book. It's good read. It, it kind of kicks you in the ass. And this one on the power of full engagement, and this one on every man's battle. I recommend it. It's about sexual frustration and dealing with our sexuality like we talked about last week. The problem with these books is that they go deep into what you should be thinking and, and, and what to feel about the problem you're dealing with. But the problem with books and podcasts and videos like this is that they don't get into the how. I'm going to talk about the how. Two more books for the ladies, if you're watching. Uh, this is by Rachel Jane Gruber, Feminine and Powerful. Rachel Jane is a powerhouse. She's from Australia. She likes to talk about fear. She's a great lady. Uh, Barbara DeAngelis wrote... Secrets every man about women should know. No, secrets about men every woman should know. I read this, actually. It's a hell of a book. Guys, if you have a woman who's reading this book or this book and has decided to put the books down and start taking action, you want to meet that woman if you're dating. Awesome. Enough about books. Uh, so anyway, those books tell you what to do. They don't tell you how to how, how to actually take action, how to get involved in changing your life. And having something new come out of you involves more risk. It involves more vulnerability. It involves up close and personal contact with other men. Uh, you have to have a consistent commitment to doing new things. And that commitment has to be greater than your fear of failure and your fear of the unknown. You have to make a commitment. If we, we can't watch videos. I can't watch videos on how to make videos and actually produce a decent video. I have to make videos and screw up. I have to put this little 
arrow on my phone at the lens to tell me to look you in the eye, right? I screwed that up the first few times. I have to be willing to be vulnerable and authentic in front of you and make mistakes and not give a shit about what you think about it, right? That, that's how we have to go. You, you can't watch uh, or listen to a podcast on piloting and get into an airplane. You can't read a book on writing code and then go ahead and program a computer. And you can't become a more confident man just by watching videos. The how-to is, is much more steeped in vulnerability with other men. This is, this is why I've created uh, uh, retreats, I've recre uh, created meetups, one-on-one -on -one coaching pro programs, single, single calls, discovery calls that are free. And some of you lately have taken up on I, I guess this video is helping you get to trust me a little bit more. So I have talked to quite a few men in the last uh, two weeks who are starting to feel a little bit more ballsy about picking up the phone and just talking because this is where it starts. That is where the how is. That is where something new is finally coming out of you and you're taking the risk to get involved. Um, one action step you can take at the end of this video actually is to ask for some help. Just send an email. If you're watching this from my email newsletter, just hit reply and say, hey, I just want to chat. I just want to talk. Don't worry. I'm not into the money that much, believe it or not. The conversation is where it is. I created these calls and I created the retreats and these meetups because I personally get something out of it. This is a two-way street, brother. When we get together and we start talking and we get personal and somebody starts crying or somebody gets pissed, right? This is where the how is. This is where men learn to become men. So when you call me, you're doing me a favor, not just you a favor. Anyway, that's action step for that. Um, I wanted to also tell you about this article that's down at the bottom of this email. This is the next uh, saga in the John and Jane story. If you want to be a fly on the wall, if you've ever wanted to be a fly in the wall and listen to your wife or girlfriend talk to her sister or another woman about how she really feels, read this article. This is, I think, the fifth in a series. There's links in this article that you can go back to the very beginning and read the whole story about John and Jane. Jane said she wanted to separate. And this is a pretty emotional story. It's gotten a lot of airtime on the Good Men Project. I'd love you to read the article and go down and, and make some comments on it. In this one, again, you're going to read uh, Heather Gray, who's the editor at Good Men Project, made some comments. And she wrote a, a, an assessment of what she thinks Jane is going through. This helps you see into the mind of a woman, helps you develop a little empathy for how she might f be feeling, her fear, her distrust, and, and some of the vulnerability she's got going on. So uh, go ahead and read that article. Give me a call if you have any questions. Um, thanks for your support in making these videos. I really appreciate every bit of feedback I get. And I will see you next week. A lot of love, brother. Bye.